Okay, you guys. Literally, I've been working on this RV like all day, every day, and I just came out, and there's an alligator in the pond. You can't see her. She's by that log. Oh my gosh. I need to go tell Rob. Like, that's insane. I have never seen an alligator on our yard or in our pond before. And it's like not a small one. So I'm very thankful the kids weren't there. Robert! Uh. There's an alligator in the pond. There's an alligator in the pond. In ours? Babe, there's an alligator. Come on, stop. Like, I'm not even kidding. Are you kidding me? Babe, I'm not kidding. How big is it? It's like big. It just went down. How did you find him? I just came out of the RV and he was in there. Do all of you women have a hard time with your husband believing anything you say? Because I think he thinks I'm totally joking him right now. I'm not. Literally, it, it's right there, see? Oh, it's see a it? big gator. I, I'm telling you, I told you. Like, is it sick? It was just up. Like, I'm just thankful the kids weren't here because they play in this pond all the time. Look, this is my flag from the from the swordfish tournament. Hold on. It's right there. Oh, yeah, that ain't sick, good. Robert. He's definitely good. Oh, he better not have eaten my bass. <laughs> he probably did. He's right there. Are you kidding me? I don't see your bass. Unless he's in the hole, I don't see him. I'm gonna, I, well, what are we gonna do? You're gonna have to call somebody. You can't even tell that he's in there. That's like a seven foot alligator. We have a good friend named Amy. She's a game, a local game warden. I think she's the lieutenant here. I'm gonna go call her. Give me a second. Hurry up, because it's getting dark. Can I just catch the thing and tie it up, or what the heck? No, that would definitely be a violation. Um, give me one second, sir. What's your address? See, that's what makes an alligator dangerous, when they have no, like, fear whatsoever. A gator's just sitting here looking at us like, come on, go swimming. But I will say this, while we're taking care of this, um, this is turning into a video. So I would like to thank CrowdCow for sponsoring this video. Now, while we wait for them to answer, check this out. CrowdCow is a marketplace for high quality meat that creates a meaningful connection between the farmer and the consumer. So people can know and appreciate where their food comes from. Not to mention, you're gonna get food that tastes better and is of higher quality. Hey, join the herd. It is free to join and you're gonna get 5% off and free shipping on anything over $99. You can explore their high quality beef, pork, chicken, and seafood and build your own box. Each cut is vacuum sealed and frozen at peak freshness. None of their meat has hormones or unnecessary antibiotics. Crowd Cow is amazing. They have an incredible selection and they're gonna have cuts that you won't see at almost any grocery store. All you need to do is click on crowdcow.com forward slash deer meat. You're gonna get $15 off your first order, a free membership, and you're ready to go. And for a limited time, Crowd Cow is adding additional items for new members. So go check it out in the description below, crowdcow.com forward slash dear me. Firm, moist, and tastes amazing. That alligator we've been seeing must have went through the gate because it's in our pond. What? It's in our pond. It's in our pond. It's in our pond. I'm not kidding. in your pond. There's an alligator in our pond right now. Can I No I swear, Rob's over there trying to call somebody. Like a seven and a half foot alligator. How did he get in there? Oh my goodness. Yeah. How did he get in there? I don't know. Can we go see it? Yeah, but you cannot go buy it. Why? Dad's over there trying to deal with it. Mom, can they see it on now? Yeah, we're going to go look. Can you? Can, well, can I go see it? Yeah, let's go look. Can I? No. Yeah, Listen. Hold on, hey, hold on, hold on a second. 
Emma, listen. That alligator will chomp on you. You cannot get close to it. You can't get close to the water. Yeah, okay. Stay right there. Now when mommy and daddy like catch alligators when we're hunting, that's one thing. But this alligator is like in our pond, so you can't mess with that, okay? Why are you shaking so bad? Because you're cold. Because you're cold? <laughs> go get a towel. I thought you were nervous. <laughs> I'm cold. Okay. Go well, you girls, when I shake, or go, I'm nervous. Hey, you girls. Yeah. I'm calling. Oh, hey, hold on one sec, Paul. I'm calling the, 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 the animal police, and so they can maybe come get the alligator and take it somewhere safe, okay? Okay. Okay, so y'all go get dry. But here, oh, yeah, go, go get dry and put, put my clothes on. on. Hey, look, look, there's the alligator right there. See him? Look at his head. Where? Right there. See how camouflaged he is, girls? Oh, I can't even see he it. He just went under. Okay, back up. I don't know. Back up. Thank God for good neighbors because they're awesome. The kids have been over there. Thank God they were all over at her house. But now they're going back over there while we take care of this. So, hey, here's the, here's the ironic thing about this. When we built this, my biggest fear is, uh, is the amoeba, the freshwater amoeba that can eat your brain. We actually had a friend of ours, their daughter died from an amoeba. So I never let our kids swim in this due to the amoeba. I was not worried about an alligator. And that's big enough alligator that would kill you. Like, that's a real gator. It would chomp our kids. Oh, look who's getting ready for bed. Strawberries. Oh, strawberries. Strawberries, strawberries, strawberries. Wow. What's going on with your hair, babe? It was from the boat and then on the RV and alligators and... Oh my mess, goodness. Okay. Come on, no brownies. Come on. No brownies in the middle of the night. Dude. All right, you guys. We've got the state of Florida alligator trapper coming to catch our gator. Let's we'll see what happens. We've got our lighting expert, the local electrician, Steve. He's already got everything lit up. Can you see him? See Gator's laying right there. All right, what's your name? You got to state your name and position here. You see his head laying right there. See him on the bottom? Oh, yeah. Got a better light. We've got Gator Trapper with the cigar. Now, if this makes it on YouTube, are you going to be okay with that? I don't mind. All right. Oh, there she is. She moved to your right, right there. Uh, get back on that golf cart. There's an alligator. Look to your right. You look look right in the middle of the pond. Right there. I don't know where her head is now. That's you're about to touch it. She just backed up. Look at that. I bet y'all didn't expect to see that come crawling out of the pond, did you? Did you see that alligator? You gonna come alligator hunt with mom and daddy? I thought that was crawling. There you go. Oh, shoot. Crawled right over, come in there. I didn't even see him pick it up. There you go. Oh, you got two of them in there? Oh, he's coming out. He ain't going nowhere. Well, as you can see, coast is clear. No more alligators in our pond, but uh, things do seem to be still pretty stirred up, muddy from last night. Um, I want to say thanks to everybody involved. We appreciate it. And I'd also like to th say thank you very much to CrowdCal for sponsoring this video. Go check them out. There will be a link in the description below. But for now, take care, God bless, and we go.